What is up, guys? This is Pinzo back with another video today. And what I have for you guys is some Grim.exe. This is the newest hero and predecessor. And this is actually a build that I found works pretty well. I don't think it's probably the actual best build. I think the best build you can go on this character is just full crit with Caustica. I think that this build is played very similar to how you would play Twin Blast, where you build Mind Razor and then you just farm as much as you can you power farm as much as you can you farm safe because grim's wave clear with mind razor is really good you just insta clear the wave back up you don't really fight at all and then you get your items online and then in late game i actually do think this character is pretty good it's just like in the mid game i i don't think he's very good so it's one of those things where it's like yeah is he good maybe maybe not maybe his power spikes are just different people haven't figured it out yet but this is one of my favorite builds, so if you guys would like to try it, go ahead and try it out. Otherwise, enjoy the video. We will jump right into it. Don't you dare hook me, bro. I saw you. I saw I'm looking for it while I'm standing on a ledge, chilling. Initiating. Oh my god, holy shit, dude. Aerial key was OP. That's actually, like, that actually is low-key and overpowered ability. Aerial Q, Q be like, you're taking 10% more damage. Good luck. A giant fucking... I can't... Uh, I'm trying... I'm like trying to hide behind minions. No. No hiding behind minions. Just fucking hit this guy, bro. He's being an idiot. Like, I understand what he's doing, but... Like I see, I see the vision for that Richter, but I don't think that's the the play. I'm gonna take her out. I'm gonna take my shield just in case. I was pretty confident that one wasn't gonna hit me. <laughs> Ouch. TB lane go burr. BBB like, I'm using abilities. Oh my god, he first-blooded a uh, Grux as Rampage solo. Oh, he waited my shield out, really? What is happening? What just happened to me? Mirio could have killed that guy, by the way. If my Mirio just auto, she, we actually win that. Like, we just kill Ramp. Or kill Rick. Oh, Fang Mao was there. Okay, we both die anyway. Uh, it's worth for the for the kill. I'll flash for that all day. But what just happened to me? Why was I actually just teleporting? It's crazy. Lag plus body blocking? I, I, don't, I don't know if that was lag. I mean, it might have just been weird body blocking. Like, just it might have just looked really funky. Like... Uh, Richter hook ghosts people so Richter hook will pull you through allies right it's, it, it gives you ghost essentially you're going ghost when you when you get hooked um, and it sometimes allows Richter to step inside of people which can cause things like that like I'm kind of guessing that's what that was but still really awkward Big. Got all my minions. And the wave's on our tower line. Too bad they're TB and he's just gonna actually step up and hit this. Oh. I thought I was gonna walk into that. Dude, my poke is really good. I think Grim passive is bugged, bro. I think it's bugged. It, I think it's proccing way too often. It says it can't be applied to the same target for five seconds, but it, it's applying way more often than that. I'm going to put a couple points in my Q. Like, Grim passive is 100% proccing more than every five seconds. Oh, you go backwards? What do you mean? 
Hunter, go backwards from where? You press S. That answer your question. I don't, I don't know what the question is. I'm sorry. You guys are are just actually perma shoving with twin blast. Is he going stole chalice? He is. Through damage. Bro, Richter's actually at the highest level of the duo lane. He's actually out leveling everybody right now. It's kind of funny. Actually, <laughs> that's kind of funny, dude. Oh, bad, bad Q. I just leveled the wrong ability. I wanted to level my Q and I just put a point in my E. I mean, it's it's fine, but it's kind of like whatever. You get more mana back for auto now. You guys, no mana. Oh shit! I forgot that my Q changes modes. I was trying to use the straight line mode. We can walk it, TB, if he ever walks forward. They are just perma shoving, bro. It's kind of kind of weird to champ. I see like I bubbled that. I bubbled that shit. Like I that one the animation started too. Like the fact that I can get the sound effect and animation for my bubble and it doesn't it doesn't block the ability is actually like infuriating. There's some supportal combat going on right now. You guys brawling. They oh, are. Richter just yoinked an entire fucking wave from his carry. Oh no, I missed. Missed. I threw my Q too far. I, I'm getting used to the to the throwing of it, but I'm not quite there yet. Oh, if I hit him with that, then uh, I think I could have ulted him. Huh? Oh, my Miria ulted out. I should leave. I didn't realize my Miria ulted away. Okay. Oh, good. I farm under my tower. Alright, I have my full Mind Razor. He doesn't have his yet. I guess I have a kill on him. I was going to say I don't know how I'm up on him, but I guess I have a, I have a kill. Uh, let's see. So Mind Razor, and now I just want to perma farm. I don't think I'm going to go Tainted this game. I think I want to go like Terminus Imperator. Like if I go a little less attack speed, because I'm going to go Obelisk. Like I'm going to end up kind of with like almost a Cringe Blast build, right? Like an ability build. I should kind of just insta clear now. Guy do be holding his hook out. Obi. Oh. I tried. I'm standing on a ward. I don't care. Who cares? Am I right?
Oh, he got me. But he didn't insta ult me. Nice ult, idiot. The bummer, isn't it? This place. Why did you not? She, she she tried to hit the TB with their shield instead of shielding me, my guy. Please shield me. Want to stay? I think I can kill him. Stand aside. Okay, I loved his sound effect playing after his ult hits me. That was kind of wild. I would have bubbled his ult. I, I didn't see him ult, obviously. I would have bubbled it if I heard it. That's actually crazy that it played afterwards on Fortnite for me. Uh, he's going to kill my Muriel, too. He's looking for it. I mean, his reset's about to, His reset's gone. So unfortunate, dude. I would have bubbled it on sound effect, but... No opportunity. Yeah, I'm going to go Terminus here. I just want to be able to trade a little bit. DB did not get an assist on me, though. I was just Feng Mao. So, it could be worse. Richter's also stealing a bunch of fucking minions from his Twin Blast, which is hilarious. They're on Fangtooth. I mean, they are, they're pulling it. Oh, I would have really liked that kill. Okay. That's fine. Probably should have been able to kill TB, but I'm kind of bad. I guess they weren't on Fangtooth. I thought for sure when TB walked away that they were just going to pull this, but... Okay, we take those. I'm just going to go hit my wave. I'm just hoping that they hit their smite. No, I'm going to hit my wave. Walk in, walk in. Oh my god, he walked in. Damn it, dude. If I hit my Q, I think I could have ult that. I think I could have ulted him and killed him. Oh, shit. If I hit my Q on that, dude, I think my ult kills the TB. Oh, gold buff is down. Rip. Go get it. Lobbing it give more damage or just range? Well, it gives it range and it gives it crowd control. It knocks back when you lob it, and it doesn't knock back on, like, the normal shot. So, it gives you a little bit of CC, and it gives it more range. You can toss it a lot farther. Alright, I'll just take my base. I kind of wish that it did up the damage, honestly. If you lobbed it. I think that'd be very neat. Damn, bro. Fino is just destroying this guy. Overlord Fire Blossom? Oh no, Fino. Alright, well, someone's gonna have to teach Fino K how to build eventually, but. Kind of a gaming. I think I can defend Tower. Oh my god, game. That was actually fucking a Giga Chat hook. Okay, you should kill that guy. I'm like my Muriel's sitting here with ult, not doing anything. I don't think I don't I don't even know if she shielded me. Like an ult would have probably just actually given us a double kill. Uh, I don't know. That was really just a sad a sad tower dive. Oh no, the full health. The full. Okay, she's ulting. She just inted. She actually just inted on Muriel ult. Okay. What are we doing, Chief? What are we doing here? 
Auto build for ramp is interesting. That is not what I would build on jungle. I, I, I that would almost be okay, but in the in the solo lane, that is not good. Bruh, what? Is he actually just huge? What the fuck? I mean, I guess he's I guess he's three levels up on me, huh? He's not really ahead of me in items, but he's three levels up on me. Why is he so big? Who's my mid laner? Oh, my Countess is my mid laner? Okay. Just killed that guy. He's actually just dead. Okay. My Kai's big. How do you build him then? I would build augmentation first on, again, in solo lane on Rampage. I, build, I would build aug every game. I would build augmentation first no matter what. I think, it, I think that item is too good. I really shouldn't waste my bubble on his ultimate, huh? Oh, bro, I wanted that kill so bad. Oh, my wave. My wave. I wanted that kill so bad. But he's dead. I get to farm while he's dead, so... Can I push this tower? I don't know if I can. Well, their whole team is dead. I'm going to push it. Erdok shows up. I probably die, but... Win some, you lose some. Am I right? Or am I right? Okay, well, Murdoch's dead too. But now my team is gaming. I don't know what just, what flip just switched. What switch just flipped, but now my team is going off. NT, even without Muriel ult, I win that. I bubbled his Q. Bro, my, I can't. I can't last hit a minion to save my fucking life, bro. I bubbled his Q. A lot of the damage that he has in a one v one. Yeah, especially he's Pain Weaver second. If I if I bubble his Q, I just win. My ult have tracking. Yeah, it's a lock on. Does not miss. You click button. Ultimate hits. Save this man is money. Name that movie. It's actually a really good movie, not gonna lie. Uh, for asking so many things. Don't ask. Don't, don't, don't. Sorry. Don't, don't ask. Don't apologize, Chronic. Dude, I, I'm here to answer questions, man. I, I love it. I love answering people's questions. Oh, we have Phoenix. He Phoenixed, he Phoenixed the, 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 the Fang Tooth. Uh, I love answering questions. Play against Shinbi in offlane. Uh, if you're playing Quang, you, you kind of just win. Like, you don't, like, uh, you're probably thinking too hard, to be honest. You, you honestly can just face roll your keyboard and you should win. Like, I know that sounds really dumb, but I, I'm, I'm being, I'm being 100% honest. I think you just, I think you just click all of your buttons, and as long as you're landing your abilities, you just win. Astro reduce ult by 20 seconds before or after haste? After haste. Astro Catalyst goes off after ability haste is calculated. Fun Fortnite that he hooked me. Maybe I catch this guy. No, I'm not going to catch him. I'm just, I'll just go farm. They move this Blast Flower again. Like it's in a different spot than it was before. Alright. Uh, also, Sav, it's 20%. 20%, not 20 seconds, just by the way. 
I don't know if that's a mistype or what, but just so you know. you like the regular queue not the lob queue it's better accuracy i agree the lob queue again the lob queue is just higher skill cap like that that's that's the way i would look at it the lob queue is oh i wanted to ult that guy the lob queue is higher skill cap because you can push people like out of position right which is like really really powerful like the the normal queue is definitely like more consistent oh that stinks that we ulted that guy um, the lob queue is more consistent and like it's really good wave clear too right but um the lob queue just though like adding crowd control to that ability just makes it really really good I steal this I'm gonna steal his minion huh what is man's doing? Like, right there, like, if that lob Q hits, right, Fang Mao can't chase my ramp in, or that, the Grex can't chase my ramp anymore. Because I would have pushed him away. Oh, we're still fighting? I mean, I obelisked him, and he's very low, but I got his flash instead. I got it. I would rather have the obelisk flash than the obelisk stack than have his flash down. To be honest. Oh, I pushed him back. I pushed it. I'm. So, I pushed him the wrong direction. Sorry, fellas. I pushed him the wrong way. I pushed him the wrong way. I, I have Imperator. I'm basing. Didn't know that it was 20%. Yeah. Which is generally like 20 seconds would be OP. If it was flat 20 seconds, that'd be broken. 20 20% 20 is like fair. Playing against a magic character in offlane, how should you build? Uh, it depends on who they are. Like, Shinbi, I think, is a little different because I don't think you need to go magic defense really early against Shinbi. Like, if you're playing Quang against Shinbi, I would probably go, like, Elafrost first item and then go Flex Matrix second item, something like that. Orange buff. Yes, please. Here in mid, like, we can fight. Yeah, 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 attack mid, attack mid. See, like that. What, like, that right there, what I just did to that guy is exactly why, like, the lob shot, it can be really good. Like, that Murdoch didn't get to get away because I pushed him back in, right? Like, that's, that's why the lob shot is good. I mean, this guy's dead. He did kill me, which, like, elbows on me. I'm dead no matter what, but I got two kills for it, so it's totally worth it. Like, I don't care. Um, but, uh, yeah. Lob shot is good. Yeah, I mean, this is Fang 3 for us. This should be free. The obelisk, I'm not gonna lie, the obelisk feels really good. I will say, like, the downside to the obelisk is that my objective damage later in the game is gonna be really bad. Right. Typhoon, getting that much extra attack speed on someone building auto attack damage, right, is really valuable on objectives. On Prime, on Fang Tooth, like, with Typhoon, your objective damage is way better. But, um... The obelisk does feel good. Like I feel like I have a lot of burst, and I'm not really that far ahead, right? I'm fifth. I'm. I'm and now. I'm seven kills up on TB, but like, I'm only 15 CS up on him. Not like I'm. I'm 20 and 0, and I'm one shotting people, right? Like I'm doing really good damage at at even. Astral. This description says 20. Yeah, 20 percent. A lot of their items are honestly not written super well, so if you guys need clarification on stuff, like I know how most things work. I won't say I won't say a hundred percent because I could be wrong, but I know how most things work. Like right there, I just one shot that guy. It was actually auto Q, obelisk, auto ult, and he's just dead. In a 1v1, I just win. 
His team was there, so I was like taking a bunch of damage, right? It wasn't quite a 1v1, but. I want that obelisk stack. Uh, they're going prime. Okay, they are not going prime. I forgot that this is like a silver game. Oh. That hook actually... That was actually not a bad hook, man. That hook kind of scared me. That Murdoch does so much damage right now. Oh, well, he doesn't have demo yet. Actually, like, my ramp is... is can actually tank that guy. Yeah, that was a good rock on the dock. Oh, no. I don't think it kills. I, I, dude, I, I, I obelisk right when I got pulled and I missed every fucking auto. I couldn't fucking hit him. I couldn't hit him, bro. If I hit an auto there, then I just kill TB. Like, I still die, but I kill TB. Is that, fu is that game, bro? There's no way. There's no way that that's just actually game over. 30 seconds till ramp comes up. 35 for me. There's no way. I mean, we lose two inhibs for sure, but like, is that actually game? I'm gonna lose my mind. Ooh, there's no way. With everyone running two ADCs recently. Well, it's mostly just because Grim released and everyone wants to play him. So a bunch of people are playing in mid. I think they're actually just... I think we actually just lose. Rux and Feng Mao are hitting. We might be able to defend this. They have two waves. We need to kill the minions. Our whole team is about to be up. I think we're okay. Damn it. All right, well, we actually still have a chance. Just because uh, they didn't get prime. We actually still have a, have a way into this game. All right, I'll take red if it's available. <clears throat> and then I need to back for Caustica. Wait for the obelisk stack. I really should have just insta-backed for Caustica. This Murdoch, we need to kill the Murdoch. Oh no. Richter's starting to hit hooks, man. Trying to do extra damage with my obelisk. Okay, that guy's actually just sprinting. Oh my god, hit an auto attack. Oh, hit an auto attack. Hit a fucking auto. I missed everything. I flashed it and missed everything, bro. I had a 3k gold in hand. Oh, uh, what do I want? I'd probably go Dust Devil. You one shot him, but it took seven shots? Real. I mean, we have three fangs, man. Like, we are still actually, like, in a decent spot for this game. I'm not gonna lie. Taking that. Sorry, Chief. My blue buff now. 
All the buffs are mine. I need 200 gold. GTFO ready. And we can just pull an objective. Like, that's the thing. We have Chimera Muriel, dude. We can actually do whatever we want. I think we can just rip this. We have decent ward vision as well. I have an orange buff, like... I mean, it's the, the, their jungler is not here, man. They cannot, they can't get this objective. Their jungler is not here. Yeah, he actually really almost got it. Okay, Frosted Lure is fixed, by the way. I don't know if you guys saw that dude's Frosted Lure shield, but it's fixed. It wasn't a million health. Okay, so it's it's fixed. What, 1100 damage on that Opalisk auto with Prime? They got Primal. I, I think trading objectives is fine. Got my Dust Devil. I need to go. I, I need to go Strength Tonic. I need Omnivam. Alright. Care mid. Oh shit, Doc is here. Wait, don't care mid. Kill him. I'm not close enough to ult, bro. That's all you, if I know. That's all you. Oh no. It's still all him, but it's not it's less good. Oh, good big fucking rock, actually. Don't body block it. Don't body block it. Eleven hundred, by the way. Eleven hundred damage, by the way. Dude, it says 1100 plus 20% from Prime, dude. My ult is hitting for like 1500. Oh, uh, we fought and I'm not here. We're going to lose until I get here. I think I can probably just clean everybody, but we're going to lose till I get here. We are fighting Primal. Oh my god. I missed. I missed my Obelisk auto. He's dead. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, listen, dude. At this point in the game, man. At this point in the game, this character feels really strong. I'm going to be honest. At this point, this far into the game, this character feels really good. Oh my god, I just chunked that guy. I kind of want to run at him. Ooh, 1K, 1K on the obelisk auto, bro. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, yeah, this. I think this is the way to play him. I think this is the way. I think. I think this is the way. This has to be it. This has to be it. That was by far the best, the best Grim game that I've played. That, I, that, that has to be it. The Obelisk felt way better than Typhoon. Obviously, you lose, you lose mobility, but you gain stand and fight ability, right? You're trading some game, and it might be something where like some games Typhoon is better and some games Obelisk is better, but you gain the ability to one shot people, to fully one shot people. What was the build? It was uh, Obelisk is your crest, and then Mind Razor, Terminus, Imperator, Caustica, Dust Devil, and it felt really good. Over 1k in one hit. That was an Obelisk auto on the Murdoch for 1,000. That was nuts. My ult was hitting for 1,200, bro. And okay, asterisk. To be fair, I had I had Prime, 20% damage increase, on when you have Prime. Okay, it's a lot of damage increase. Just to be clear. But still.